From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Hey folks, good evening. Hope you took full advantage of the lovely day it was out there across the area. We're actually doing pretty nice for this evening as well. We're staying in the 70s for the next three or four hours. We're really only getting down to the 60s, to be honest with you. I don't see us getting much lower than that for our nighttime lows. Looks like we're probably going to hit those lows sometime around about midnight to 6, so the typical times there. And again, it's probably going to be in the 60s. Really not that cool, right? Now, as we head through tomorrow, pretty much think about what we had today and apply that to Sunday. We're doing just fine out there. Temperatures will be in the lower, maybe mid 80s in some of the warmer spots. I really don't see a lot of that action going on here. Uh, some of this moisture is actually just cloud cover here, and that's going to continue to kind of lift north, right? And of course, it's no surprise why. Just like today, we have that wind kind of gusty out of the south at 15 to 20 miles an hour. So it's going to be a little bit breezy out there, but we pick up a little bit more moisture as we head through Monday. That's with this system here pushing east. Notice the possibility, maybe some scattered thunderstorms as that pushes east through the second half of Monday. And then past Monday, we're talking into midweek and beyond. Notice it's just kind of scattered activity here. So rain chances aren't particularly high per se. But if you do get rain, you might get a heavy downpour or two with some thunderstorms. Almost kind of reminds me of a summer-like pattern there in that aspect. But we're not going to be seeing any 90s. I think we're going to be staying in the 80s for the near term. Here's your hometown forecast for tonight. Notice those mid-60s for your lows across the area very consistently. Hopping across the state line is very similar there. Really only 1 to 2 degrees of variation. Not seeing huge spreads for that. And of course, with the daytime temperatures over the next several days, it's a very similar story. We're holding those 80s into the big picture. But of course, notice as we head through the week, you kind of have those off and on chance of thunderstorms. I think the best chance for more widespread rain and thunderstorms, that's going to come the day after tomorrow. That's going to be through Monday. But in the big picture, well, like I said, it's a little bit more off and on type of thing. You might see a heavy downpour or hear some rumble of thunder, though, pretty much each day this week, lasting through Friday.